Hi everybody and welcome to part 2 of my tutorial on how to migrate map files from UDK to Unreal Engine 4. In this part we're going to be covering exporting and importing of art assets and getting them set back up within Unreal Engine 4 itself. OK, so let's start. The first thing we're going to want to do is open our content browser within UDK and we're going to go, want to go ahead here and find all the packages which are used by our project. Okay, We're going to go ahead and expand them all. And once we've done that, we're going to reproduce this package folder structure within a folder on our own desktop. So basically we're going to create a folder, call it whatever you want, and once you've done that, just open it up, and we're going to start recreating these as folders within that file. As you can see here on the top right, I've gone ahead and done this already within a tutorial folder. So we've got our architecture assets, architecture assets, audio ambient, uh, this will, yeah, here we go, audio ambient. So it's all set up one to one. Uh, don't change any of the folder names, make sure they remain exactly the same. Okay, uh, you'll also notice as well that uh, I've only taken the subfolders. You can do this any way you want. Just make sure that the, again, I can't stress enough that the uh, name of the folders remain exactly the same. Once you've got all these empty folders set up, what you're going to want to do is select all of these folders, which you've just set up, and you're going to want to go to your Documents folder into Unreal Project and then assuming you've already created your project go into your project folder if you haven't set up your project go ahead and do that now and then close it down find the content folder within that folder 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 and paste all of your folders into here uh, it just makes it easier later on to get everything imported again make sure that um, if you do have Unreal Engine 4 open and you paste them in, close and real engine down and open it back up again so it can find the file folders. Okay, now with that all done, it's time to actually export all of your assets. So one by one per folder, or however you set it up, whether you have everything in a pool inside of a package or whether you have it set up in subfolders, you're going to want to do each object one at a time. Uh, so what I mean is you'll be exporting your textures, then your static meshes, then your sound cues, um, in any order, but make sure you do it one particular type at a time. We'll start by doing our assets, and we're going to use export to file. Don't use bulk export to folder, I don't believe that works. And it's very simple, we're just going to go to our folder on our desktop, and export them back into the matching file. Simple as. Uh, we're going to export them as FBX files. If you don't have this option available to you, I have a link in the description to the Autodesk website where you can get the uh, FBX converter. Uh, very painless install and it will give you the ability to export as a .FBX. Uh, again, uh, after you've installed the FBX converter, close UDK down, open it back up so that you can actually do this. Right, so we're going to go ahead and save it as an FBX. I've already done a couple here, but I'm going to do it again because I'm cool like that. And you do need to do it, unfortunately, for each of these, for each mesh that you have. Okay. I won't do them all for obvious reasons. Uh, next thing, our textures. Now, the way we're going to export our textures it's the same way you can export anything else apart from static meshes. Static meshes do require you to change it to an FBX output but with this, with uh, textures or audio files, very simple, right click uh, again export to file and just keep hitting save. Uh, make sure, because this is very easy to <laughs> do, make sure you don't save it if you do have separate folders, make sure you do go back and then go to the right folder and then save. 
Uh, again, if you have everything just within one folder, just go ahead and spam, spam save. Okay, um, and that's all there is to it. It's just a case then of going through all of your files, exporting static meshes at one time, textures at one time, etc, etc, etc. Okay, again with uh, sound cues, right click, export to file, uh, find the right, find the matching file, and then export it. Okie dokie. Now with that done, our time in UDK for now uh, is at an end, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Now what we need to do now is go into Unreal Engine 4. And as you can see here, all my folders are already set up. And what you can do now is basically do the reverse of what we were doing just a minute ago. Just go into your folder, right click, import, into our folder and then import the FBX files. This will bring in the meshes and it will also bring in materials. The materials won't be set up properly but it saves you having to set them up manually later on. So once your meshes are in go ahead and also import all your textures. I just made a new paper flipbook there, that's absolutely fantastic. And of course what you're going to want to do is go into the materials which are imported with your mesh, go into them, find the texture, reapply the texture. It's exactly the same as UDK in terms of material setup. Is again it's a bit of a time consuming thing. Okay, so once that's done, uh that's it. That's your importing and exporting done. Uh, a couple of things to remember, of course, keep the file names exactly the same. Your materials will have the same name as the materials in UDK so you don't have to re you don't have to recreate them. Um, and aside from that, we're done. So I'll see you in part three.